What's up guys, welcome back to another edition of Toothpicks. We're gonna be doing a little something special today. Nothing real big and fancy, but we're gonna be doing some smoked stuffed sweet potatoes with buffalo chicken. Stay tuned, it's gonna be good. All right, let's see what we got here. What we're gonna be using today, some things you could substitute, maybe so, maybe not if you wanna keep it the same. Most important thing we're gonna to need today, of course, we're gonna need chicken. I'm using chicken breasts, I got about five of them. And you can do a whole chicken and pull the chicken, but we're gonna use white meat, I love white meat. I like when it's pulled, uh, but like I said, you can do a whole chicken. You're gonna be needing some sweet potatoes, and these are a pretty nice size right here. I've already put a little olive oil on here, poked a few holes in them and put some coarse sea salt on those, so that's ready right there. Should be easy to do. Um, you're gonna need some, about a half of a yellow onion, and you're gonna need about a stalk of green onion. That's for topping right there. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this yellow onion right here. Let's look over here and see what we got as far as seasoning. I'm gonna be using the Chupacabra poultry season. This stuff is some good um, stuff, good rub. Support those guys, and also for in the potato, Show you what you're gonna be doing with that. Some honey hog hot meat church, keeping it barbecue style. You're gonna be needing a little bit of ranch. And you're, wonder, you're wondering like, hey, what are we gonna do with the ranch? I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be good. Today I'm gonna to be using some Monterey Jack. You can be using uh, mozzarella if you want. Uh, but I found Monterey Jack and mozzarella is pretty good. Cayenne pepper for a little heat. Got a little garlic powder. You're gonna need about two sticks uh, sweet cream unsalted butter, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, however you want to say it, about five tablespoons of white vinegar, and last but not least, well not last, of course you're going to need about two cups of your favorite hot sauce. I wouldn't use Tabasco, I would use, um, like I got Louisiana today, or you can use Frank's Red Hot, a lot of people use that, but I got Louisiana I'm using. And of course, for some topping, we're gonna be using that right hickory thick cut bacon. You need some a few pieces of those. So let me show you what I've done here. I've already, you know, to save time, I've already seasoned one side. I did marinate these for about 24 hours. You can do up to you can do an hour to up to 24 hours on your chicken. Um, I just use you know Italian dressing, or you can use whatever you want. I wouldn't use something so sweet. Um, cause the sweet potato is already sweet. So I'm, your, your chicken should be contrasting that. And then, um, I let that sit, took them out, dripped some of the juice back off into the container. And like I said, I've already seasoned one side. So what I'm going to do now, hit it with a little, hit the other side with a little bit of chupacabra. Go ahead and give a good dusting of that on the other side. Get it all over. So we're going to be smoking these at first. And then we're going to show you the next step once we get outside. So once you got all that, you got them both sides covered, you know, grab your little container, take it outside, and I'll meet you outside to um, show you what we're doing with the smoker. All right, guys, so we're out at the pit. I got my temperature a little bit above 400 because nothing on it or nothing is on it. But we're going to hang this out about 375 to 400. Potatoes are pretty big, so I don't want them to take too long to cook. But basically, we're going to be probing those until tender. So go ahead and get your smoker open. And I got this set up for indirect heat. I got a baffle plate in the middle. This is a Weber Summit um, charcoal grill smoker. I, lo I love this thing. It works very well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get these potatoes on. And just set these all around the back right there the skin is protecting them i want that heat to hit them you got about five of these like i said these gonna take the longest okay 
And the next thing you want to do, I want this chicken to get a little, um, you know, smoke on it. So I'm going to take some, take this chicken, put it right here on the edge, turn that around. And the reason I'm putting this on the edge, guys, is because I'm going to be placing my pot in the middle once I get a little smoke on these and transferring this chicken over to that pot, that skillet. Now I am using, let me get this glove off. I am using a heavy cast iron skillet. You need that. Okay, failed to mention that inside, but you need a heavy cast iron skillet. You can use a Dutch oven if you want, if you got more chicken, but that's what you're gonna need. So once this is all on here, we'll come back out here and check these in about 20, 30 minutes, the chicken. Flip them over a little bit. Just want to get a little char on the other side. Since it's pretty hot, shouldn't take that long. Go ahead and give this a close. Get your temp, set it back up right. Let your temperature come up on your gauge. Like I said, 375 to 400. And we'll come back and check it. All right, so let's go ahead and give these chicken breasts a look real quick. Woo, that's hot. Be careful. Just like that. That's what you want. See how that's coming out? Got a little char on it. Turn these over. Get that one off. There you go. That's one little, little dark. That's telling me it's a little hot over there, but it's okay. Because we're going to want these to break up into that sauce. Let's see if it needs to get a little soft. A little bit on the outside. Kind of turn them over. That way they won't burn. I think I'm going to move these more in the middle of that diffuser plate. Cause you sure don't want that skin to burn black black. There you go. A little closer. All right, so we'll give that a close. Let the heat come back up and we'll come back out here and check it. All right guys, so we're back outside. We're gonna take a look at this chicken. Take my thermopan. And I know it's a little over 160. Right there, 166, right there. Take this other one, 170. But like I said, we want these to fall apart. On the potatoes, you can do about probe tender, but about 210 internal, they're pretty much done. Let's check this one right here. It's 187, 190. That's a little smaller than the other ones, and it's on the end. 177, 176, 180. 172 so the chicken's pretty much done we're going to go to move these and now we're going to put our pan on that way we can get it preheated so what i'm going to do now is just, i'm going to kind of move these potatoes out the way a little bit put them on the back all right move that one over there take the chicken move it back give you some room Matter of fact, we're gonna move it over here. So you want your pan to hit the heat right here on the edge. All right. Now kind of just move, maneuver everything around to get it settled. You can stack the chicken if you want. Just enough that you have room to close this. Some of the potatoes that's cooking pretty fast, kind of move them back in the middle. Right here. Like I said, you gotta watch them because you don't want them to turn black over there. Turn this big one over right here. You want even cooking. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this pan come up. I want that to get good and hot. Close this down. Once that's good and hot, we'll put our onions in and our butter. All right, so our pan's good and hot now. We're gonna go ahead and throw this butter in. I want two sticks of butter. There we go. Get all that butter in. I'm trying to get all that butter off as much as I can. And this has been sitting out so it's a little soft.
Okay, so we're going to let that melt right there. While that's melting, you can go ahead and throw your onion in. You want to cook this basically until your onions are translucent. You can see through them a little bit. That's not going to take that long. Stir this all up to get the onions broken up. Just like that. All right, so once that butter is all melted, you can help it along by stirring it. Go ahead and pour in your hot sauce. Okay. Throw in, let's say five tablespoons of vinegar. So here's two. Two, four, and then half of this. Got this little measuring cup. Looks like a shot glass. <laughs> Pretty neat. Then you want to throw in about a teaspoon of Worcestershire. That's about a teaspoon right there. Throwing about a teaspoon of cayenne. And I would say that's about a teaspoon right there. And then a teaspoon of garlic pepper, garlic powder. So you can give or take more, or less if you want, depending on how you hot you want it. Get some more of that hot sauce in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give this a little stir with the onions, get it mixed up real good. If you have a whisk, you can do this with a whisk. Get it stirred up real good. Look how it's all coming together. Once you get all that stirred up together, go ahead and drop your chicken in. Now we're going to let this chicken cook off into this buffalo sauce. Just like that. And then eventually we'll be breaking apart in the pan and get it all mixed up. So we just leave that like that. Bring your potatoes off the heat a little bit. Let's go ahead and give these another check. See what they're looking like, because they're looking like they're almost done. Ooh, looking good. See how it's poking through? 202. And the reason you want them real tender so they can just break open up easy. 202. This big one's taking a little longer. It's all right. We'll shut it for about 15 minutes and we'll come back and check it. All right, guys. So, look, it's been cooking in the sauce about 30 minutes. I think it's about ready that we can let this rest and pull it. We'll show you that these potatoes are done. Look, see how it goes through? Easy. Those are good and done. Like I said, 210, close to that, but they feel good to me. So we're going to bring these inside, get this off the heat, let it sit for a little bit. Once it cools down, the sauce will thicken, and we'll be ready to pull it and mix this up, and we're going to build our potato.
All right, so look what we got here. Back inside, potatoes are ready. I got the chicken pulled. I got it mixed up with the sauce. Sauce thickens as it cools. So let's go ahead and make this potato. So I got one right here. And what you're going to do first, you're going to take your fork, kind of go down just like this, all the way to the end. Get as deep as you can. And then push it. Just like that, okay? How that's open. Kind of break it up inside. Now, these might fall apart a little bit because because I smoked them pre pretty good and they're tender. I wanted them to come out like that. So get that open, okay? So now I'm gonna take some of this honey hog. You don't want too much of this to be overbearing, but it's got the sweet in it with the sweet potato. So we wanna keep the barbecue flavors going. Let's go ahead and give it a little sprinkle like that. Take some butter, put your butter in there. Then take your bacon, Put your bacon inside, just like that. Get it all in there. I like, you can put it on top if you want, but it's better. Uh-oh, there she goes, bacon thief. <laughs> now get all this mixed up, okay? All the way through, as much as you can without tearing the whole potato up. Now that sauce and everything is gonna do the other job, okay? Just like that, kind of keep it together with your hand. Take some of this chicken, all right? And don't be shy with it. Get it all on top, just like that. A little more, a little more. Okay. Don't that look pretty? Take your cheese, get your, pat your cheese down, get it all in there. Okay, just like that. Now I got a little trick I'm gonna do. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I got a little torch. Put a little heat on a little melting. That's all you wanna do. I'm pretty sure they got some better torches out there than this. But it's doing the job. And this is Monterey Jack. Now you can do mozzarella and the flavors will really pop out also. Just want a little bit of char on that. Leave it in one spot, it'll really do its job. Man, that looks pretty. Great. So now we do that. So we're gonna take some of this buttermilk ranch. Pop the top. Uh oh, I don't even think I opened it, y'all. There we go. Sorry for our technical difficulties. Now you wanna put this and just drizzle it. Back and forth motion. And once you do that, last thing you wanna do, get you some chives, put them all up there. And boom, I call that a sweet heaven. That's the name of it. Stuff, buffalo chicken, sweet potato. I hope you guys like this right here. That looks good. I'm going I'm to give it a little taste. Get a little everything out with that. Woo, a little chicken, a little ranch. Mm, see how this tastes. Mmm. Nice spice in the chicken, but it pairs very well with the sweetness. Both flavors are hitting real good. Guys, this is real good. You gotta make this, I call it a sweet heaviness. Something we came up with as a family and just been cooking ever since. Something different than your regular sweet, regular potato. Try it. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for more. Till next time, ooh, I'm, I, my mouth is full. Two things. <laughs> mm, that's good.